Hello, my name is Miss Patel, and I'm a maths teacher at Claremont High School. Previous to being a teacher, I worked as a chartered civil engineer. Therefore, I took advantage of the new buildings being constructed at Claremont to demonstrate to all my pupils how maths can be applied in real life. I explained the piling foundation process and demonstrated the maths behind the pile designs. Pupils had the opportunity to visit the site and see the construction for themselves. They also had the chance to talk to the piling foreman and ask him questions. I did notice that a lot of the pupils who don't really enjoy maths showed real enthusiasm when they could apply the maths to real-life situations. Hey, I've got clay here. This is similar clay to what's outside. Can you see how firm it is? It's quite hard. All right. But can you imagine if that building sitting on top of that clay, what's going to happen to that building? Anybody know? Fall through it. What do you mean by fall through it? It's going to sink into it, yes? It's going to actually, very good, good answer. It's going to sink into the clay, it's going to go down. So, is it safe to have this building sinking into the clay? Yeah. Yes. Is it safe? No. Yeah. If it starts sinking, it's going to start cracking, it could start falling apart, it could hurt somebody, yes? It's not safe to have it sitting on there. What could I do to make it, make the ground strong underneath it? Or to, do, to hold the building up, what could I do? Build stilts, okay, very good idea. Anyone else got any other ideas? Put some cement under it, put some bricks under it, anything else? Okay, so we could put maybe some concrete under it. But do you think that concrete is going to hold the weight of that big building? No. So that answer that you said, Lucille, was very, very good. Roshan, sorry. Brilliant answer. We're going to build some stilts, okay? These are called, these are called piles, okay, piles. Piles are concrete columns in the ground. They can go as deep as you like, concrete columns holding up the building. Imagine that this is a pile, okay? I'm going to push this down into the clay and if you have a look, it's quite hard to push it in. It's not easy, it's resisting my weight. Okay, I can push it harder, it's just about going in. But what's stopping it from just dropping through? The so, um, inside, the clay inside. Of the clay, yeah, clay particles, yeah. What's stopping it from going? You know, why gravity. can't I push it? It's not gravity, gravity would pull it down. There's something that's stopping this from moving. Someone just said it. Friction, thank you, friction. Okay? Friction is stopping this pencil from moving down into the ground. It's really hard for me to push it. Gotcha. All right, so friction is stopping this. Now, I'm going to show you how maths is used to calculate the size of piles that we need to put into the ground to support the weight of this building. But also, as well as that, we have to think about one more thing when we're looking at calculating how, what the friction is. And that is the strength of the soil. Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it really strong? Is it not very strong? And that value is called the shear strength. Shear strength. And that's the shear strength of the soil, called CU. Okay? So those two factors we need to multiply by the area, surface area, of the shaft of our pile. Okay? Now, what we can do, I'm going to tell you what piles they're using outside, what size the piles are, and we're going to see if we can calculate what the load is on the pile. Okay, what the load is on one of those piles, what it can carry, what the capacity is for the, for the pile. So, alpha is 0.5, shear strength, they have done some calculations. What they've done to work out the strength of the soil is they have dug some holes in the ground and they've taken some soil samples. They've tested these samples to find out how strong they are. And they have noticed, they've plotted them all as dots, and they have noticed that the deeper you go, the stronger the clay becomes. Okay, it becomes stronger as you go down. And that's why the dots are all starting to go towards that side of the graph. What they've done, they've plotted them all and they've drawn a line of best fit through all those dots. Okay, like a scatter.
photographs. They've drawn a line of best fit. And they have decided a value, using that, a value for the strength of our soil. Now, for our calculations, I'm going to take that as 200. Okay? Our shear strength is 200 kilonewtons per meter squared. Let's put the numbers in. Who can tell me what numbers to put in there? So let's say screen friction equals, what's alpha? What's alpha? Yeah. 0 0.5 times what? Times 200, because Cu is 200, times what? Pi times, yes, better? Times 0.3 is our diameter, good. And what's our length of our pile, Lucille? 18, well done. So anyone got their calculator with them today? That is how much one pile, one of those small 18 meter long piles can carry one nearly 1,700 kilonewtons. How many cars would that be approximately? How many small cars would 1,700? It would be about 17 cars. Okay? 17? Is that right? Are you, yes? Yeah. Okay, and how many piles have you put in so far? Um, five. You just started yeah. this morning. How many are you going to put in all So, Sorry, what's the question? How many are you going to put in all together? 59. 59 in total, yeah. They all range in depth from, uh, they came from 8 metres up to 17 metres. In... How long did that take? Each pile generally takes about 20 minutes each to do, to start and finish. Yeah. Josh, Josh had one very good question. Yes, Josh. Uh, no, miss, I thought it was like a big hole. That's okay, you can ask, because sometimes they drill big holes for big yeah, piles. What right. happens? Go ask the question. What was your question you had? What happens if you fall down it? Well, <laughs> Has anybody yeah. ever fallen down one? They have, but if they're really deep, be very lucky to see you again, depending how deep. Because uh, the further down in the ground you go, there's no air or anything either. So, so if you fall down there, you could just die, yes? Yeah, suffocate. So Farley, what sort of things have you learned from this project? I learned how to design a building and why are piles used and what are piles. Okay, and how has this helped you in your maths? I actually realised how maths is connected to the real world. And um, this, this project has been a revision topic for me and it's boosted up on my circles and I really enjoy um, doing land graphs.